An earthquake P wave traveling at five kilometers per second strikes a boundary between two kinds of rock at a 20 degree angle. If the wave speed in the second kind of rock is six kilometers per second, find the angle of refraction. So before the refraction, the wave travels at 5 kilometers per second and it strikes the boundary at a 20 degree angle. After the refraction, the speed changes to 6 kilometers per second and we want to know the angle afterwards, the angle of refraction. We can use the law of refraction for this problem. That is the sine theta 2 over sine theta 1 equals to v2 over v1. It doesn't matter which one we use for 1 or 2, but let's say if we use 1 for the before and 2 for the after, then the sine theta 2, the theta 2 is the angle we're looking for, and then we have sine theta 1, that's uh, 20 degrees. The speed after is 6. The speed before is 5. And we can solve equation for the theta 2. But before we solve this, we know that we should expect the angle theta 2 to be bigger than 20 degrees. Because faster speed means larger angle. Because if the numerator here, the speed side is bigger. That means the numerator on that side also must be bigger. So sine theta 2 has to be bigger than sine 20 degrees. And that means the theta 2 must be bigger than 20 degrees because the sine graph looks like this. When the angle is less than 90 degrees, the bigger the angle means the bigger the sine theta. So if a sign is bigger than the other one, that means the angle must also be bigger than the other angle. And if we solve for sine theta 2, we'll find this uh, to be 0 0.41. That means the theta 2 is uh, inverse sine 0 0.41, which gives us uh, 24 degrees, which is indeed bigger than 20 degrees.